look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. That's me and Ross. All right. Good day again, people. It's good day. It's your boy Diego, the cross-eyed villain. And today, I'm going to touch a topic, a really touchy topic. And this topic is about slavery and color discrimination. Now, we all know that in the USA, slavery was abolished in 1865 and in England, 1833, right? So England abolished slavery first. But at the same time, don't ever think say, slavery really abolished. Them just make it look like, say, yeah, we have freedom and everything and all these fancy stuff where we can try for own, which... The main thing them all for try for own is properties and them something. And if you notice on your title, you don't see owner on it. You see older. So we still not own nothing more than the vanity them where them are run down vehicle and all of them stuff there. You know, but what more I really touch now is skin tone discrimination and brown privilege because right now as we see we are talking about black life matters which that is good black life do matter and our life do matter but this skin tone discrimination now brown privilege i remember when me used to go to school back in the days and them used to have this saying where them say black is beauty and red is corruption when i remember that right all right now if you look into things, color is a visible trait in a way. It, it, it noticeable during any social interaction and it can use to form judgment against the other or whosoever it may be. So when when we used to grow up and remember some phrase as well, we said black is beauty and brown is corruption. Well, and red is corruption. Now, I don't touch really the red. I go look on the red as if a brown way at all. Because most time of the darker skinned kids used to say that to the brown kids. Which me was one of the brown picking them. So, them used to say it to me a lot. And when you look into it, we should, if we think realistic and logical, right? Brown is really like a corruption, you know, when you look into it, you know. And with no disrespect to brown people, because I could not look for disrespect myself, but if we think logical, why we end up come brown? Because nobody never, he never make brown. <laughs> it's either you have black skin or white skin, right? So, no brown, no in between, no the unless some mixing up go on. And all the mixing up get to start now. Now, this is how the privilege come in. Because if we think logical and look into it, a non-consensual relationship with female slaves uh, that end up bring forth some other color now, like brown or sometimes higher color too, but well, well, might look white, but you can see there's a mixture with black. So when you look into it, and for all those who don't understand what is non-consensual relationship, a rape, them rape, we ancestor them. So we know with the brown skin, when you look into it, let me skip to page two because me jot this down in a people. So I want to make sure my words them on point and me I say the right things. And if you don't agree with anything with certain things, I say don't afraid for comment or say something on it, man. Leave a dislike or like or anything. So the color brown or light skin. If we notice today, we still have brown people who think say them better than black people, right? Think them better than black people. And then 
by them doing that, you realize that darker skinned people now think them lesser and them self esteem, it lower them self esteem because them think say, them not beautiful with the color where God gave them. And then me touch a topic the other day where me I talk about people with bleach and all of them something there. Right? Black persons. Whether woman or man, just remember say you're beautiful and them make person with them make you know with, with the light skinned people they make on you know self esteem drop. And now as me say, me do a video the other day where me talk about me not want to see no bleachers I talk about black life matter. Now you know me a comedian, so me do me little thing them and everything. Bring laughter to people. But when you look into it, the reason why me really did touch that door and touch the topic there. Because the people in my bleach, you are tell yourself now when I say, Boy, I want to touch up little to make myself like a lighter because if I look like a browner, I go look more sweeter and everything. No man feel comfortable in your own skin. Because the real beauty comes from inside. So brown, black, white, whatever color you be, if the inside because beauty, you know, enough people use the word beautiful, blatant and vague. And Beautiful and really just out alone, inside and outside bring beautiful. So you see a girl or you see a man and the man and some or the woman look pretty. But when you talk to the person, you know, it's a turn off. Because the inner beauty is not dead for much with the outer appearance. And the two of them have to combine. So you have to be comfortable in your own skin and all of them. So you understand? No. All right, look at the protests we are going a foreign right now, right? Me could never say me eat a white person. If you look into it, and if black people, if you be honest, you know, say there's a whole heap of black people when I like white people, and me can't go say me one of them person eh? because you have white people where I stand up for black people to and I say black life matters. So me can't go be the one who say me eat. I don't eat nobody at all. I love everybody, but I eat people ways. That is what I do. I eat ways. But believe me, people, there, there are blacks from different countries who eat other black people. This I know for sure. Because I've been to America before and I know of other black people who not like other black people from different countries. So it goes for sure, say, and not just white alone, as in the racist white eat blacks. You have blacks who are also racist against blacks. So where the unity there? And me as a brown man, our ancestors them, you know. If <laughs> when you look into it now, the brown was really like the weaker, weaker ones, you know. We brown people now, and yet still the darker skinned person make it look like say we as the brown one better but yes we get privilege that is what we know for sure we get privileges because our skin color and it not right because not because we're brown means we're better and if you even notice me remember back in my days this made me smoke some weed and me almost lose it may i tell you the truth because i couldn't manage it and somebody look at me and say, "What? You? Imagine you as a, a as a nice brown youth, a mad." And me I say, "Oh, brown, come in a mad. Like mad only make for black people alone, dark skin. Anybody not care mad, but it's like people have them have expectations for for the eye color. Like you're supposed to become this and become that, and all of them something there. So, as me say." We brown one now, if you look into it, our ancestors was really like the weaker ones. And me go explain this to you why me say that now. And people are go vex, <laughs> but if you're willing to be logical, you go hear how it is true. Now, because of the leniency, enough people never know say, all right, the same non consensual relationship we, we, we talk about. It end up bring a privilege now where the, 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 the slave them will get raped now by the plantation owners and them end up have baby for the slave masters them. The baby them come with eye color now. Now the man, I go love him baby, 
Now, that, that slave end up get a privilege now if he can work inside the, 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 the house, cook for the master and everything, and them, them, them get for can even read now because them, they're around the house, people, them will start learn how to read and look into books and understand certain things. So, them end up get a privilege now over the darker skin now. And with that privilege, when you look into it, when did the, the, the real rebellion for start now? May I show you how black end up? <laughs> Boy, may I tell you sometime when you think about it. Now, when the slave them now, the darker skins one were really a face the tribulation and really want to, to start a rebellion now to get away. A few ancestor them now depend. No, why? Master is nice to us and master treat us good and this and that and all of them something that one bag of heifery. So uh, uh, when you look into it, brown this brown privilege thing uh, it, 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 me not like it. Everybody should be treated equally. So when you look into it, the man with the brown skin don't feel like you're better than the man with the dark skin. Cause when you look into it. A brown, a brown ancestors was really like the sellout or the weaker ones them. A, a the black, real dark skin, them a them really war and really face the trials and tribulations. So until we start look at ourselves and seeing ourselves as one, no change now come here. Even alright, look on this. Even if you look at it, you know say you have some prettier people now. Black skin, you know, but prettier people. But through them here straight are some of them here curly. Them think say them better than the other black skin man where them refer to it as nappied but wool ear. Them think them better than them. Hey. Listen to me now, black people, man. Listen to me. Here. Yeah? We need to start no say. We never born in a slavery. Our slavery wasn't with beginning. Yeah? Black men and black women were kings and queens one time upon this earth. Yeah? But our dirty mentality and our ways, our crabby and barrel mentality, make we get overpower. Yes, so, so what I try to say is, and that's one different topic, you know, but people, the topic there, if you don't want to know what was it before slavery and how we get overpowered, just make the video here get 200 likes. That's all I ask. So once you get 200 likes, part two will come out and I make you know what was it like. My, my perception of that, how was things before slavery based on the Bible. Because the Bible, even though me think it tamper with it, but it still make you, it show you say everything started down in Africa there. Africa in the east. Yeah man, so as me say man, we need for the start so one of it as one and don't think we're better than nobody. Equals. And then we will see change. We black people need for start change how we think about each other first before we think say other people are gonna change how them think towards we. And as me I say, I'm your boy Diego, the cross eye villain, I'm out.